Hi, it's Lisa Scott with LoseMyAccent.com, where I help you speak English more clearly and be understood more easily. I often get questions on my page about the difference between words with similar definitions. A reader recently asked me, what is the difference between include and involve, since both mean being a part of something else? The difference between the two is subtle, and I can see how it would be confusing. The basic difference is in the amount of action needed to participate in something. If something is included, it is part of something else. For example, you may purchase a new computer that includes several pieces of software already installed on the hard drive. It is included or part of your purchase of the new computer. On the other hand, if you bought each of the components of a new computer separately, then setting up your computer would involve assembling the parts and installing the software yourself. You would be more involved in, or more actively a part of, setting up the computer and getting it running. So the parts might be included, but setting everything up would still involve your time and effort. In another example, you could be included on a guest list to a party, but you may or may not be involved in setting up and preparing for the party. If you are included, you are part of it. But if you are involved, you are actively participating in making it happen. So, to review, when we're talking about objects, parts can be included, but a person may be involved in the assembly of it. When talking about people, we can be included in a group activity when we just show up but we are involved when we take an active role in making the activity happen. I hope that helps to clear up the difference between include and involve. If you want to watch more videos to improve your American English, you can find them on my website at LoseMyAccent.com. I'll see you next time.